come across these, you are to bring this to my attention immediately. Is that understood? Has anybody received any of this? Not yet? Are you hoping to? No clue. You probably wouldn't remember if you had received it, would you? That's correct. You're probably drunk and got one. Step forward. Let me check you out just to be sure. Hold this, private. Buttons. Buttons. Who were you planning on bribing with one of these? I know there are some uh, loose women following our army. They're right here. You left your piping buttons off. Get those sewn on. You understand? Yes. I better see that. Okay, you got your bayonet. Good. Did that take off? Yeah. It was May 8th. I'm sure it did. You got anything yeah. else? I think I'll leave it alone. Okay. What is this? Oh, okay. 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 If for nothing else, then if I never get to be to the commander in chief, the Mexican army, to the English and Irish under the orders of the Americans, and this was what I just asked you about. You said you had not received one of these. You said yet, sir. Yet. As a matter of fact, that's what caused me to have him looked over, isn't it? Yes. So now, this makes sense. You tried to sell your bayonet, you tried to sell your musket flint, so you could get up the courage to desert to the Mexican army. Don't speak to me right now. Don't speak to me right now. Were you guys aware of this? No, sir. Did I tell you to speak? Oh, you can't read. That's correct. Drunken <laughs> and stupid. Well, let me read this to you. If you can't read, why were you holding on to this? Nature. Nature. Yes, Corporal. You were going to use this at the, the, the sink later or what? Yes, Corporal. It says, Know ye that the government of the United States is committing repeated acts of barbarous aggression against the magnanimous Mexican nation. You know what magnanimous means? Couldn't tell you. Neither do I. That the government which exists under the flag of the stars is unworthy of the designation of Christian. Recollect that you were born in Great Britain, that the American government looks with coldness upon the powerful flag of St. George and is provoking to a rupture of the warlike people whom it belongs. President Polk boldly manifesting a desire to take possession of Oregon, as he already has done of Texas. Now then, come with all confidence to the Mexican ranks, and I guarantee you upon my honor good treatment, and that all your expenses shall be defrayed until your arrival in the beautiful capital of Mexico. Germans, French, Poles, and individuals of other nations, separate yourselves from the Yankees and do not contribute to defend a robbery and usurpation which, be assured, the civilized nations of Europe look upon with the utmost indignation. Come, therefore, and array yourselves under the tricolored flag in the confidence that the God of armies protects it and that it will protect you equally with the English. I'm none of those. Yeah, but you're from New York. Where'd you get this from? Are you in league with the Mexican army? No, Corporal. Where did you get this from? Possibly last night. Possibly last night. Like I said, I can't read, Corporal. I have no idea what that says until you read it to me. Oh, so now, what, what have you decided now that I've read this to you? Not interested. <laughs> Not interested. I would like the paperback. You would like the paperback. This guy is not to leave your sight. You understand? Yes, sir. If he leaves your sight or he moves without permission from you, you are to run him through with your bayonet. Yes, sir. Is that understood? Yes, sir. Preferably in the leg so that he can be hung later. In the leg, sir. 
in the leg, or in any other part that might make him stop. <laughs> Open. Now, fall out, get your bayonets. Now. <laughs> Is that what they mean by eating your work?